A verdict has been reached in Lori Vallow's murder case. After a month-long trial, a jury in Boise, Idaho found that the 49-year-old was guilty of first-degree murder in the killings of her 16-year-old daughter Tylee Ryan and her 7-year-old son Joshua J.J. Vallow, according to NBC News. The news organization also reported she was found guilty of conspiracy to commit first-degree murder and grand theft by deception in the killings of her kids and guilty of conspiracy to commit first-degree murder in the death of Tamara Tammy Daybell, her husband Chad Daybell's first wife. Additionally, NBC reported Lori was found guilty of grand theft in the form of collecting Social Security benefits that she was not entitled to. Prosecutors alleged she and Chad worked with her brother Alexander Coxa who died in December 2019 and was never charged to do the crimes, according to the Associated Press. Lori previously pleaded not guilty to all charges. As for Chad, he faces three counts of first-degree murder for the killings of Tylee, JJ and Tammy as well as three counts of conspiracy to commit first-degree murder in their deaths. He is also accused of two counts of insurance fraud. He has pleaded not guilty to all charges and is being tried separately at a later date. Tylee and JJ were last seen in September 2019, and Tammy died the following month. Weeks later, in November 2019, Lori and Chad wed, and shortly after, Police launched a search for her children. She was arrested in Hawaii in February 2020 on a warrant issued by Madison County, Idaho after she failed to comply with a court order to show her children to authorities at the end of January, police stated at the time. In June 2020, the children's remains were found on Chad's property in Idaho and he was arrested. Lori and Chad were indicted on the above charges in 2021. However, Lori's legal battle is not over yet. In Arizona, she faces one count of conspiracy to commit first-degree murder in regards to the July 2019 death of her ex-husband Charles Vallow. According to the 2021 indictment, Lori agreed with Alexander Cox that at least one of them or another would engage in conduct constituting the offense of first-degree murder. According to the Associated Press, she has yet to enter a plea. The Maricopa County Attorney's Office said that Alexander had called police and said he'd shot Charles, who died at the scene. According to the Associated Press, Alexander told police he acted in self-defense and was never charged. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more news updates.